Good afternoon, yogis. Uh, this is Mark Azor. Morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, um, wherever you are watching this video and the time of day that it is there. I'd like to thank you for joining me for another flow. Uh, today we'll do a little bit of a different flow. I just want to change up some movements um, and then also uh, do some breakdowns of poses. Uh, so there'll be a few different things that we have available this time than what we had before. Um, so I hope that uh, you all are well, again, wherever you're watching this. And we'll just start in a comfortable seat. Um, I have a little bit of a cross-legged seat here. You don't have to do that, especially if your hips are not open yet. You can simply place your left shin uh, behind and your right shin in front or vice versa. Um, if you need blocks up under your knees, you can always use your props as well. And that's a nice, easy, comfortable seat. So checking in with the body here and just making sure that your sits bones are connected to the ground and that you're not pressing the ribs forward. Uh, you can rest your hands on your shins and we'll just take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out the mouth to get started. Now on your fourth breath in, inhale, lift your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, roll your shoulder blades down your spine. Feel the opening in your heart center in your chest. I always want to take a moment to smile in the practice as an effect on the entire body right away and on the mentality as we get ready to flow. Beautiful, now we're gonna take some neck circles. So as you inhale, drop your chin towards your chest. Take your left ear to left shoulder. Drop and head back behind on an exhale. And right ear to right shoulder. Drop the chin back down to the chest. Just take slow rotations. Next time that your chin meets your chest, pause, and then go the opposite direction. Right ear to right shoulder, dropping the head back, left ear to left shoulder, and chin to chest. Next time that your chin comes back to center, Pause and lift the head back up. Beautiful. Inhale, reach the palms overhead. We're going to take a twist here. So open twist to the left, taking the left hand behind, right hand in front. You can either place your right hand on the mat or on your left knee. Gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale, reach back up to center. Exhale, twist to the opposite side. Taking the left hand in front, right hand behind, gazing over the right shoulder. Inhale, reach, one more twist. Exhale, twist over to the left. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist over to the right. And inhale back to center. Exhale, lift and gaze towards your palms. 
As you exhale, hinge forward at your hips and walk the palms forward. You can rest your forearms on your mat if that's available to you or just press into your fingertips. Keeping the fingers spread wide and send some breath into your low back. On your next inhale, walk the palms back about halfway. And for where you are on your mat, you may be able to roll just um, uh, roll directly into tabletop. For me, I'm going to turn this way and make my way into tabletop, stacking the shoulders over the wrist, hips over the knees. You can keep your toes tucked behind and take a few rounds of cat cow to warm up the spine. So as you inhale, drop the belly, lower the head back. Exhale, press into the palms, round the spine, gaze toward the belly. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Two more breath to movement. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Now coming back into a neutral tabletop. Shine the crown of your head forward. Take a deep breath in and extend the right leg back. Toes pointed down toward the mat. You can send your gaze maybe toward the top of your mat. Maintain an integrity in the neck. Exhale, lower down the right toes. Come up onto the balls of your right toes and just shift your weight back and forth here as you breathe. This is gonna open up the calf. This is good if you do a lot of standing or if you do running or Anything of the sort, it's good to open up the calf muscle. And your next time coming forward, lift the right leg back up, toes pointed down toward the mat. And exhale, release your right knee down back into your tabletop. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, extend the left leg back, toes pointed down toward the mat. Active core, belly in and up. Exhale, lower your toes down to the mat. Kicking my towel out the way, now shifting back and forth on this side as well, opening the calf muscle. Exhaling as you come forward, inhaling as you go back. Now, next time that you come forward, Pause here and lift the left leg again, toes pointed down toward the mat, foot flexed. Exhale, release your left knee down and meet the right back into your tabletop. Untuck your toes and we'll come into puppy pose here. So reaching the palms forward, you can drop your forehead down to the mat or your chin. Keeping the hips lifted. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, let your chest or your heart melt down into the mat.
make a tip with your fingertips, so lifting the finger, lifting the palms off the mat, pressing the fingertips down. This is a shoulder opener here. And exhale, release now. Press into your palms, lifting up, walking the palms back into your tabletop. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in and tuck your toes underneath. And as you exhale, press up into your first downward facing dog. Always available to pedal out your first downward facing dog. Sending breath into the left leg and the right leg, respectively. A few pops and clicks are good. Lubricating the joints. Beautiful, coming to a still downward facing dog. Press the tailbone up toward the ceiling. Gaze between your feet. Now inhale, lift up onto your toes. And as you exhale, shift the heels over to the right. Inhale, lift back up onto your toes. Bring the heels towards center. Exhale, press the heels down to the left. Inhale, back onto your toes. Now walking the hands back as you press the heels down, setting up a rag doll, deep bend in the knees, grasp opposite elbows, shaking the head, yes and no. Release in the neck. You can move from side to side to release the low back as well. Now change up your bind so wherever your right hand is, bring it to the left elbow and then the right, left hand on the right elbow. There we go. Just bringing balance on each side. Exhale, release your palms down to the mat. And also what's available here is your props. In case you're not able to reach the ground, you can bend your knees to give you more access and use your blocks on any setting to bring the ground closer to you. Now, rolling up one vertebrae at a time, pressing into the feet. Rolling the shoulder blades back as you reach the top. Standing in mountain pose, Tadasana, soft in the knees. Inhale, reach the palms overhead. We're going to take an open twist here. So twisting to the right, gaze towards your right fingertips, left hand out in front, fingertips spread wide. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, open, twist to the left. Gazing over the left shoulder, looking for your left fingertips. One more, inhale, reach. Exhale, open, twist to the right. Inhale, reach. Open, twist to the left. Inhale, reach the palms overhead. And bring your palms to touch. Take a slight back bend, pressing the hips forward, dropping the head back. And exhale, hands at heart center. Taking a moment to set an intention for your practice. If nothing comes to mind right away. A go-to for me is always gratitude. I find in life that everything begins with gratitude. You can't appreciate more until you appreciate what you already have. 
Take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale. We'll do a few rounds of half sun A. So heel toe your feet back toward the center. You can keep a little bit of distance between them. Inhale, reach the palms overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, taking the palms to the shin, shining the crown of the head forward. And then squeeze the shoulder blades together to open the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach the palms overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. One more inhale, reach the palms overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms down and walk out to a high plank. Beautiful. Now you can take your high plank on your toes, pressing into the palms, or you can lower down to your knees. Untuck your toes, exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Lift onto your toes and take tiny steps to the top of your mat. Heel toe your feet to touch and inhale, reach the palms overhead. Now this time, grab a hold of your left wrist with your right hand. Inhale, lift. Exhale, shift over to the right. Nice side body stretch, breathing into the left side, pressing the left hip out. Inhale, back to center. And grab a hold of your right wrist with your left hand. Inhale, lift. Exhale, shift. Reach back to center. Exhale, forward fold. Four sun A, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant the palms down. Two options, you can take knees, chest, chin, or high to low plank. Elbows pressing back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, lift up onto your toes and travel to the tops of your mat. Inhale, reach your palms overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take your chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, a downward facing dog. Beautiful, gaze toward the top of your mat and travel there. Inhale, reach your palms overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And take your chaturanga, high to low plank. Lower down, exhale. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Now lift up onto your toes and exhale, press your heels down. Lifting the right leg for three points. Now stack the right hip on top of the left. Gaze under your right armpit. Bring the right leg back up for three points. And step your right foot through, plant it down. Back foot down at a 45 degree angle. Lift the palms, warrior one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, plant the palms down. 
Step your right foot back to meet your left. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. It's time lifting the left leg to three points. All right, now take a bend in your left knee and stack your left hip on top of right. Gaze under your left armpit. Helps you open the hips more. Back to three points. And step it through, warrior one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold forward, planting the palms down. Spin up onto your right toes. Step your left foot back to meet your right. Hold the high plank. Lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Beautiful. Traveling to the top of your mat, setting up for chair pose, deep bend in the knees, reach the palms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And plant the palms down, step it back, high to low plank. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Right side, three points. Now this time we're just gonna step it through for warrior one. Right now, we're taking humble warrior. So binding our fingertips together behind us. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, bring the right shoulder on the inside of the right knee and lift the palms over the back of your head. Now release your bind and release your hands down to your mat and then Pivot onto your left toes and hold your runner's lunge. Beautiful. Now step your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, reach your palms overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And take your chaturanga, high to low plank. Lower down, exhale. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Left side, three points. Step it through, warrior one. Same movement here, humble warrior. Bringing the left shoulder on the inside of the left knee, gaze down towards your foot. Relaxing the neck. Exhale, release your hands down to your low back and down to the mat. Pivot up onto your right toes for runner's lunge. Now pressing into the right toes and step your right foot up to meet your left. Chair pose. This time, lift the left knee with the right knee bent and step it back for a crescent lunge. Open twist to the right. Right hand back, left hand forward. Look for your right fingertips. Inhale, back to crescent. 
Exhale, runner's lunge. Now lower down on your left knee. Untuck your left toes. Then inhale, reach the arms up in a low lunge. Exhale, goddess the arms. Inhale, reach your palms up. Exhale, goddess the arms. Inhale, reach. Exhale, goddess. Last one, inhale, reach. And open twist to the right. Now take your left hand down on the inside of your right foot. This is a modified revolve side angle. Gaze towards your right fingertips. Re-engage your left toes. Full revolve side angle. Exhale, release your right hand down. Now lift the left leg for standing split. Bring your forehead toward your right knee. Gaze towards your left toes. Now as you exhale, release your left foot on the outside of your right heel for a sciatic stretch. Beautiful. Now lift up onto your toes. We're going to pivot toward the back of our mat and walk out into your high plank. Beautiful. Now we're taking side plank, lifting the left hand. Exhale back to high plank. Side plank to the left. Exhale, release the right hand down and lower down to your knees. Take a moment in child's pose. Now press them back into the fingertips, coming all the way onto your belly. Keeping your hands at your rib cage, untuck your toes, and take a baby cobra here. Exhale, release. Tuck your toes, make your way back into downward facing dog. Beautiful. Lift up onto your toes and travel to the top of your mat, chair pose. This time lifting the right knee and taking the right leg back for crescent lunge. Inhale, lift, exhale, low lunge. Dropping down to the right knee. Untuck your toes. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, reach. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, reach. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, reach. Open twist to the left. Right fingertips down. Modified revolve side angle. Re-engage your back toes, full revolve side angle. Exhale, release your left hand down to the mat. Press into your left foot, standing split. Gaze towards your right toes. Exhale, release your right foot on the outside of your left heel 
and take your sciatic stretch or IT band stretch, I should say. Now lift up onto your toes and we're gonna rotate back to the front of our mat, walking out into your high plank. Now side plank to the left, or to the right actually, lifting the right hand. This time see if you can lift your right leg up. And exhale, release. Side plank to the opposite side. Lift the left leg. Exhale, release. Lower all the way down. And take your palms down by your side. Just bend your knees here and windshield wipe your feet from side to side. Release in the low back. Release your feet down to the mat. Take your hands by your rib cage, baby cobra. Now this time, gaze over your right shoulder and over the left shoulder. Back to center, exhale. Tuck your toes and press back into downward facing dog. Now traveling to the tops of the mat. And now reach your palms overhead. Exhale, hands at heart center. You can take a reset here. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Two more deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Now ground down into the right foot. Lift the left knee for start. And lift the arms overhead on an exhale. Now take a step back for crescent lunge. And we're gonna swing the left arm back and open up into warrior two. Flip the right palm up, shift your hips forward, take a peaceful warrior and modified extended side angle, right forearm to right thigh, lift the left arm up and overhead. Come back up to warrior two. Take a straight leg piece for warrior and take your triangle. Right hand on the inside of your right foot on the block. Lift the left. Or you can take your right hand to your foot itself or your shin. Or if you want a little bit more, reach for your big toe with your peace sign fingers. Exhale, release your left hand down. Intense leg stretch, step the left foot up slightly. Both legs long. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Toes and heels on both feet, pressing down into the mat. Another good place for your blocks as well. Bringing the ground closer. Now twist your triangle, taking the left hand down, reaching up with the right. Keeping the hips square. Exhale, release the right hand down. Walk the right hand forward slightly. 
Another good place for a block. We are going into half moon. I'll turn this on the highest setting. So you can see what that looks like. So you're stacking the left hip on top of the right, flexing the left toes. Slight bend in the right knee. And exhale, release your left foot down to meet your right. Inhale, reach the palms up. Exhale, hands at heart center. This time, ground it down into the left foot. Right knee start. Exhale, lift the palms. Step it back, crescent lunge. Open up into warrior two. Peaceful warrior. And modified extended side angle or full. Your practice, your choice. I go for four here. Pressing back up into warrior two. Straight leg, peaceful warrior. And taking your triangle, arms out to a T, shift your hips forward and reach. Exhale, release your right hand down to the mat. Intense leg stretch, pivot your right toes forward, step the right foot up slightly, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Now twist your triangle, right hand down, left hand reaches. Exhale, release the left hand down. Walk it forward, half moon. Exhale, release your right foot down to meet your left. Inhale, reach the palms overhead. Take a back bend, press the hips forward. And exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Now we're coming into a Malasana squat. So take the feet out a little bit wider. The hips will distance apart. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, sit back into your seat. Another good place for blocks as well. You can use your blocks to sit on or support you in your squat. You wanna use your elbows to press the knees open, breathing into the opening here. Now take a twist. So plant the left palm down, a diagonal in front of your left foot. Take a deep breath in as you exhale, reach the right arm up, gaze towards your right fingertips. Twist coming from your core. Exhale, release your right hand down. And take your right hand diagonal on the outside of your right toes or in front of your right toes, rather. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, open twist to the left. Exhale, 
Exhale, release your palms down to the mat. Now press into your feet, lift the hips. Take your hands in front and heel toe your feet back toward the center. Just moving the blocks out of the way here. Inhale, reach your palms overhead. And exhale, take eagle on the right. So right arm under, left arm over, press down into your left foot and bring the right knee over the left. Sit back into your seat, keeping the shoulders in line with your elbows, palms pressing away from the face. Now inhale, lift the right knee for stork. Then we're gonna go to warrior three with eagle arms. So right toes flex down towards your mat. Exhale, come back up. Release your bind, eagle on the left. And press back up, left knee start. Warrior three with eagle arms. You got it, trust yourself. And exhale, release. Take a moment, shake it out. Now we're gonna press or release down to our mat, lift up onto your toes, taking a little bit of a toe stretch here. And exhale, dropping onto your knees, setting up for a couple of back bends, coming into camel pose. So with your toes tucked behind, take your hands at your hips or your low back. Take a deep breath in as you exhale, press the hips forward, drop the head back, reach for your heels. Exhale, release up and come into embryo pose. Just folding directly over your thighs. Allowing the shoulders to roll forward. We'll take that one more time. This time keeping the tops of your feet flat on the mat, coming up onto your knees. If you need cushion, you can always roll the top of your mat. So untuck the toes and take your hands to your hip. This time we're gonna windmill the right hand back. Reach for the heel, windmill the left hand back. And we do that because that opens the chest. Drop the head back, press the hips forward and breathe. And exhale, coming back up, holding over into embryo pose, release your mat, beautiful. Now pressing into your palms, lifting up. And come on to your sits bones. Take your feet out in front. Now we're just going to do a little bit of abs here. So we're coming into boat pose. So maintaining the integrity in your spine. 
keeping the glutes on the mat, not dropping into your low back. So lift your right leg and keep your shin parallel toward the sky. Relax your shoulders, lift the left. You can hold with support uh, under your knees. If you want a little bit more, you can take your arms out to the side. And if you want more, you can extend your legs. And exhale, lower down. Supta Baddha Konasana. Take the palms of your feet to touch. Take your knees out wide. And you can rest your hands on your inner thigh and just let gravity do its work here, releasing the low back. And when you're ready, close your knees together like a book. And we're going to draw the right knee in. Extend the left leg long. Just hold here. Flex the toes. Now release your right foot down to the mat. Draw the left knee in, extend the right leg long. Flex your left toes. Exhale, release your right foot down to the mat. Draw the right foot in. And we're setting up for a figure four. So take the right foot or right ankle and cross it over the left knee. Use your right hand to press your knee open. Be mindful of any sensation that you feel and breathe through it. Um, nothing too strenuous, so a nice, relaxed, light push. Now, take both hands and reach under your left knee. And on an exhale, draw your left knee in towards your chest. And extend your left leg long, toes flex. And you're using your right elbow or, yeah, right elbow to press the right thigh open just a little bit more, maintain the openness to breathe into. Exhale, release your left foot down to the mat. And release your right ankle from your left knee. We'll take that on the opposite side. So. Crossing the left ankle over the right knee. Hold and breathe here. Using the left hand to press the left knee open just a little bit more, breathing into the opening. Now take a deep breath in and then reach under your right knee. Draw the right knee into the chest, extending the right leg long, flexing the toes towards your face. Again, using that left elbow to press the left knee open.
Exhale, release your right foot down to the mat. Uncross your left ankle from your right knee. And draw your right knee into your chest. Extend the left leg long. This time, take your left hand on the outside of your right knee. Take your right arm out to the side. Gaze toward the right. Draw the right knee over through center line to the left. If your right knee doesn't hit the ground, that's perfectly fine. It's more about the twist coming from the core. Exhale, release your right knee, draw it back over. Opposite side, extend the right leg long, draw the left knee in. Take your left arm out to the side, palms facing up. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, gaze toward the left, draw the right left knee over to the right side. And exhale, draw the left knee back in. Extend both legs long. And plant your forearms down into the mat, which is coming up for fish pose. So you're pressing into the forearm, squeeze everything in, and drop the head back. Breathing into the opening in your heart center. few rounds of breath here. You can point your toes in fish pose also. And an exhale, release all the way back down to the mat. And we're coming up for waterfall. I want to take supported waterfall. So you, if you have your block, you can take your block and place it underneath your low back. And then press your feet up on the ceiling. Toes flex towards your face. It's really good for releasing the low back. If you don't have a block, that's fine. You can still come into waterfall. This is also called legs up the wall pose. Now, releasing the legs, remove the block. Setting up for a happy baby. Drawing the knees into the chest, planting the feet on the ceiling, grab the outer edges of both feet and press your feet toward the ceiling and pull your feet down simultaneously. Breathe into the opening. And also rock from side to side to give the spine a much needed massage. You did a lot of work today. And when you're ready, close your knees together like a book. Come into ball pose, wrapping the arms around the shins and draw your forehead to your knees or your chin. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, make your way into final Shavasana. Palms facing up, shoulders pressed down into the mat. Unfurl your brow, remove your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Take a deep breath in. 
and exhale. Take rest. And you have the option to stay in Shavasana as long as you like. If you have to move on with the rest of your day, and you can begin to take some gentle movements, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Take a full body stretch with your arms reaching overhead, toes pointing out in front. And roll into fetal pose. We're gonna go on the left side here, using your left shoulder as a pillow. Reminding yourselves that fetal pose represents a rebirth, renewal and restoration. Hopefully that's what you feel at the end of your practice. And when you're ready, press into a comfortable seat. You may have more accessibility now to do a cross-legged seat. Resting your hands on your knees. And lift the shoulders up toward the ears. Roll the shoulder blades down the spine. Take your hands at heart center. Taking a moment of gratitude to yourselves for showing up for your practice, for our body and all that it does for us. Bring your thumbs to third eye center. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice wherever you are. The love, the light in me honors the love and light in you all. We bow forward to close our practice. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me. Um, I hope to see more of you on this channel. And also, thank you so much for your feedback on the previous video. Um, I appreciate the feedback. It allows me a chance to not only view the feedback and see what you're thinking, but then it also helps me to improve as an instructor. So I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you again, and I hope to see you again soon. Leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.